With the slidable widget you can swipe into one direction to reveal some actions on which you can click. We will also implement a dismissible widget where you can slide your widget to make it disappear while also performing an action. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. For creating the slidable widget, we will make use of this package Flutter Slidable. Let's get started with an our scaffold body property and here we want to create first of all a list view where we want to build then many items and therefore I create here a list of items. And in my case, I have created then here some objects and each of them contains then a title and also an image that we later want to display within our list view. And finally, within this item builder, we want to get then here one specific item that we want to build and we create therefore this build list tile method. And here inside we return then a list tile widget and we also give it then some title, which is in this case a text widget and we put then the title of our item inside. And next to the title, we can also add here an image to make it more interesting. Therefore, I add here a network image with our item URL image. And this looks then like this. And we also improve here the style a bit. So I give it here also some padding. And now we can implement for our items the slidable where we can then click on one specific action. To implement this functionality, we simply go here to our build list style method. And here around we wrap then this slidable widget. And this comes directly from this package. And to make this work, you also need to define some actions. So you can first of all define here the left side over this actions property. And inside of it, you can define an icon slide action. And with these three properties, you define then the look and feel of this action. So let's swipe here to the right side. And you see we have here an icon, we have here this caption and also this background color, which we have here defined. And of course, you can also add here other actions and they will then be displayed here next to it. So now we have your actions on the left side. However, if I try to swipe here to the right side, then this is not working. And therefore you also have here the secondary actions. And here inside you can then define your actions, which should be displayed on the right side. So we have here this share action and delete action, which you every time get by swiping to the right side. For your actions, you can also define the animation, how your action should be animated. So we have here the behind motion animation, the draw motion animation, and also the scroll motion animation and stretch motion animation. To define this animation, you have within your slidable widget, the action pane property. And here you can then define four different animation types. Simply take then the one which you like and place it then here inside. And now if I slide here this widget, you see we have here a stretch animation. And this is exactly what we have here defined. And by the way, if you want to make use of the slidable widget, you also need to go to your pubspec jammer file. And here under your dependencies, you need to add then this Flutter slidable package. If you like, you can also define the width of each of your action items. Therefore, you have the property action extend ratio. And here I set it to 25%, which is the default value. However, you can also set it here to 10%, then each of your actions will take 10% of the available screen width. And if you set it here to 50%, then each of your items take 50% of the screen width. Next, we also want to click on our actions to perform an action. And therefore, you can simply go to your actions property. And here within this slide action, you have then this on tap handler. And if we then click on it, then we want to call a new method on dismissed. And here inside we set then first of all the index of the item on which we have clicked. And we also add here a slidable action. And therefore I have created here an enum with all of the actions. So in this case order and wish list, which is here on the left side. And we also have then on the right side share and delete. And therefore I have also added here share and delete. And finally, we add then this on dismissed function to every of our actions. So we add it to all of the four actions and also make always sure that the action that you define here is then matching with your caption text. So here, for example, we have share and therefore you also have the share text. And lastly, we want to create this on dismissed method to perform then our functionality. And therefore, we first of all want to remove our item from our list. So if we click here on one of our actions, then we want to remove here this whole item from our list view. And this is what we can do with the help of our index, because the index is every time defining the item on which we have now performed this slidable action. 
And now we can try it out. So we have here this item waffles and if I click on one of the actions then you see that this is then removed from our list view. And this is exactly what we did here with this statement. And next to deleting an item from our list view we can also perform then an action based on this slidable action enum. So we simply switch here over our action and then you can define for each of your action your functionality. So in my case I show then a snack bar and in this case it says that an item has been ordered and you can also add here some other snack bars for all of the other actions. Alright, let's try it now out. So I click here on this order action and then you see french fries has been ordered and you can also click here on other actions and he is then every time going here inside of the specific action. So all in all you can later add here your functionality what should happen if you click on one specific action. Next let's go to our slidable child widget and here we have created in the beginning this list tile method which is then displaying here one specific item. And within this list tile method we have also this on tap handler and here inside we can also for example if we click then on this item open our slidable up. To achieve this you can get first of all the parent slidable widget which is up in the widget tree. So with this statement we access here exactly the slidable widget that we have created here at the top. And now we can use the slidable to access here the state of our item. So we can define here if our item is closed or not. And in case it is closed then we can for example open up our item. And to do this you can simply call slidable open and this should then open our item up. However before this can work you also need to wrap here around your list tile a builder widget. So make sure that you put here this builder around otherwise you will get an error. And now if I tap here on one item you see that it is then opening up. And if an item is already open then we call the close method to close our item. Let's also try this out. So I click here on this open item and then you see that it is also closing. Let's also look at how we can make our item dismissible by swiping to one direction. To achieve this is pretty simple. Go to your slidable widget and here you need to add first of all a key. And inside of this key you put then simply your item inside which is displayed within your list. And secondly next to the key you also need to define here this property dismissal where we set then the slidable dismissal inside. And here every time if our item was dismissed then we are going inside of this function. So if we are swiping here to the left side then you see that the order is dismissed and if we are swiping to the right side then you see that the delete is dismissed. And with the type we get then every time the item that we have dismissed. So basically it's the direction so if it is primary then it is here the left side and therefore it will be our order item. However if it is the right side then it will be our delete item. And lastly we take then this action order or delete and put it inside of this on dismissed method that we have created before. Make sure to hot restart your application and now if I dismiss here an item for example order then you also see waffles has been ordered and we also can delete here then an item and then it says tacos has been deleted. And by the way if you want to get here the whole source code of this application then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. Also if you like this video make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.